Not really. It's what? Almost six, maybe? Uh, Is it five ish? Somewhere in there. Five thirty. Well, anywho, been up since about four something, however, to get out here to Lake St. Clair Metro Park. And I'm walking with Brian towards his boat so I can get uh, a little bit of the takeoff. And this is something that I actually never get to do. Um, usually me and Brad come drop him off. Of course, he's knocked out and I'm the mom that refuses to wake him up. So, anywho, anything to add? No, let's go. Let's get that brains beat out today. Uh, it's gonna be this already blowing probably eight, nine miles an hour, which doesn't sound like a lot, but makes it a little bumpy out there. So um, hopefully we'll get over to our areas and catch some fish today. All right, see you later. Seventy-two. Ooh. Seventy-two. Yeah, I just I can't get through, you know. Like, it is what it is. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, I It's not a big one. Oh boy, small. I just put it on here. I think I told you I just put it on here last night. Got it? No. I don't think it's a bottle. Yeah. We don't get that big where I'm from. Here's one. Maybe. They're coming up. Oh yeah, heck yeah, that's a good. He hit it hard too, which is unusual. Hey, you alright? We ain't got nothing to worry about right now. So I'm thinking three. Think so? I think three. Oh, did he get rid of something? That's a big one. I bet. That's, now that one might be four.
break my line on the light. It's a pretty good one right there, I think. Well, I'm almost back to our waypoint again. On the tubes. That is a big one there. Oh, he ain't got good at all. Oh, man, that's a good one. That's a real good one there, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. We've got right back to our waypoint now. small I feel like another dang on wall eyes what it feels like I oh, ain't starting to do a little bit he's not Can big I, like not really yet, but. I think we put work well together yeah <laughs> I think he's got yeah it's just so clear you think he's ready and he's not even close you know because it's so clear okay. thank you there for you didn't you? <laughs> thank you buddy he jumped in there for you it's one of those probably they're carbon cups i say ah man they're carbon cups i think that's the biggest that one's the biggest yeah. i think so too <laughs> let's get out of here South Carolina on the pro side is Brian Latimer. Brian's got a five bass limit that's gonna go 12 pounds, 15 ounces a day for us. You know, so now I had a pretty early weigh-in, a 315 weigh-in on day one, and I end the day 
with 12, well, 13 pounds is what I ended the day with. I had one that died on, died on me. It's tough to keep smallmouth alive this time of year, no matter what you do. They take the bait too deep sometimes. It's like smallmouth, there's no in between. They either choke the bait or they got it on the side of the head and you lose them. So I had one choke a tube on me. That fish died on me. I ended, um, ended up with a, with a, um, a net weight of 12, 15 on, on, on day one. That ain't gonna cut it, y'all. Like 12, 15 has me back in the 150s on day one. And that is not what you need to have. That is almost an impossible hole to dig my way out of. Gotta do a lot better today. Day two. Gotta do a lot better today. Yesterday I played God Trip all day. I was glad my guy caught him, but I want to participate in the tournament too. Um, you probably saw it. He had close to 19 yesterday. I don't know what the deal was, but all the small little baby fish bit my the crickets. I don't know what that was about. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm around them. I know doing the right things. Several big bags come from where I was at because there's a lot of traffic there so um, I'm going back doing the same thing as crazy as that sounds same thing same area new mine um, I bet you it's gonna work out you're gonna do just well down. it's gonna do just fine positive vibes got this positive vibes let's go let's go Don't You know, at this point, uh, it's the last tournament of the season. Day one definitely cuts out any opportunity to work my way up the standings, the point standings to make the cup. But all I want to do is fish good. Every day of the year, my biggest goal is to go out and practice, figure out a pattern, figure out a way to catch fish, and go back and catch them in the tournament. That's my three biggest goals right there, is just to fish well. And no matter what happens, I want to end this tournament fishing well. And so um, learning from what happened on day one, they obviously got off the drop shot bite, which is, or at least on my areas, there's no way you're gonna to come to a smallmouth fishery and fish aren't biting a drop shot. I know that's not the case, but on my, the places that I found, they definitely don't want the drop shot as good as they want the tube. So um, I got two rods on deck going into day two, drop shot two. And um, kept it simple. I actually went to the same areas again on day two. With my car angler win 1815 on day one, I know that I'm around the right caliber of fish. I just gotta figure out how to get them on my hooks.
Okay. That's a pretty good one. So I start off the, the day two in the same area. Uh, make it a little different drift in the same area. You get started pretty quickly. I catch two small ones right off the bat. And just as I had on day one, my co-angler starts off with a four pounder. I don't know what the deal was this week. Co-angler catches four pounder. Brian catches a pound and a half. That's just the pattern that we had going on this week. I like stuff like that really good because you can't, it's not like Okeechobee where you can see the grass. Yeah. So if there's a little hole in the grass, if there's taller grass, thicker grass, something's making those fish hang in certain spots. Oh yeah, ambush points. Yeah, and sometimes I think it's grass or more lack of, more of, thinner. So I like to watch where I'm at. Dragging on the bottom again? Dragging right behind the boat, yep. I'm starting to think maybe these fish are going to start suspending because it's so calm. Well. <coughs> he didn't have your buddies with him, though. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I see it.
hard ones. Wow, look at that dude. thing. Dude, that might be a six pack. Yeah. Dude, that might be a six. <laughs> He's five for sure though. Yeah. He got swallowed too. I'm gonna just leave it in there. God dang. Yeah, I was coming up there. About to jump. Oh, came off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Just came towards me. Yeah. This is one of the coolest bites that I've ever had all season. I'm going to say maybe not the whole time I've been fishing the tour, but the, the coolest bite I've had in a long time. Keep in mind, I'm fishing a flat that's literally about four to five miles from the bank. And all of a sudden, I see a couple smallmouth just rise up to the surface. I'm just fishing out there, fishing my tube, and I hear a splash, just a bloosh. And it catches my eye, I turn around and look at it, and there's two big five pound smallmouth at the surface chomping on mayflies. I don't know if you noticed, there's mayflies everywhere. There's a huge mayfly hatch going on. You've probably seen them fly on the camera. They're all over this table here. Just my flash. In here, around here in Michigan, they call them fish flies. And the fish feed on these things heavily, even though predominantly the fish on, on St. Clara bottom feeders, they're eating these mayflies too. So all of a sudden they come up to get this easy snack and they're right within casting distance. So I cast my tube over there, biggest bass of the day for me. I want to have one of my tubes if you think they're any better. What is that right there? That's not small mouth. Let's see those. What is it? Those are small mouth. Dude, those are small mouth. Look at that. They are, yeah. Dude, look at that. I told you those are small mouth that do that. Yep. Look, he's going to get it. He is. He got it. Freaking giant. It's a freaking giant. It is. Get the net. I got it. Good to the boat, too. Here you go. Did I tell you they do that? Yes. Dude, this freaking. Didn't I tell you they do yes. that? <laughs> Didn't I tell you that? Uh huh. <laughs> I told you they yeah. do that. I told I was like, I was like, man, they, they eat on those bugs. They were eating mayflies. Yeah. They were eating freaking mayflies. That's why we keep getting catches on this farm. Oh, oh, oh. So at this point I'm starting to call up really good. I've got two five pounders and two three and a halves. So I've got around 17 pounds with just four fish. And I've got one shrimp that I need to get rid of, about a pound and a half. Uh, so that's looking real good. I'm thinking I'm definitely going to go over that 20 pound mark. All I need to do is catch one more solid fish and we're going to be looking good. Thank you. 
you know, I never got another bite after that. I um, had a couple other small fish that I caught on day two, but that was it. And um, I ended the day with 1812 after having two fish dead again, um, just two that swallowed my tube. Nothing I really could do about it. I tried to rejuvenate them the best I could. Um, ended up with 1812, um, and that's with a pound and a half in my bag. I really had 17 pounds and four fish on uh, on day two. So that ended the you know it ended let me know that hey you still can do it. You still can catch fish because I'm not gonna lie. Day two, that was a throat punch. I really go. I can take a bad day pretty good. Uh, but in a tournament where so many fish were caught, so many guys were catching them, it was really kind of an easy deal, to be honest with you. If you got your bait, when you got in the right area and you got your bait to the bottom, you're going to get bit for, for whatever reason. On day two, that just wasn't the case for me. I got all the small bites and all my partners got all the good bites. So, um, ended it on a pretty decent note. Climbed the standings about 45 or 50 places and save my season because I, oh, no. I could have easily fell out of that top 100 uh, with another bomb in the standings and not requalify for the tour next year so i'm one uh, i'm going to just oh. bring back up to the parking <laughs> latimer i'm going to let yours now brian latimer b lat right here from belton south carolina 12 pounds 15 ounces yesterday come back with a bag today. You didn't have to tell everybody I didn't have nothing today. That would make me look like I was good. You know, I can't help Talking it. about today, and they would all thought I was good, but you saw, you started to pick on me about yesterday. Why are you on No, me? it's because we break you down to build you up, b right, Yes, awesome. sir, here it goes, man. What a difference a day can make. Brian Latimer, five bass, and he put in the work 18 pounds, Woo 12 ounces here on day two, sir. Man, I don't know what to tell you. My partner yesterday had 18 something. Partner today probably got 18 plus. I just didn't catch him yesterday. And um, I was scared I wasn't gonna catch him today, but it all worked out. Listen, this is the last day of, uh, of the year for me. I had the best time. This is my third year on tour. Thanks FLW, thank all the people that work the tanks. I gotta get out here because people are losing fish in them. Yes, sir, thank you, man. I appreciate you, Brian. Miles Johnson, Cohen. So today was a little bit better day. I had 18, 12, and I had like a pound and a half. Um, it was a pretty fun day. I'm not even gonna lie. I only caught what seven or eight keepers, but uh, that's the last day of the tour season. It's over for me. 2018 is done. It's been a trying year. I'm not even gonna try to pretend it hasn't been. It's been a year of missed opportunities, no opportunities, and everything in between. But um, man, it's all lessons learned. So that means we're coming back hard next yeah. season next season should be good man i I, um, I learned so much every single tournament good tournaments bad tournaments i learn a lot every time but um just wait gotta wait you know my slogan everybody knows it by now adversity is dope so like all these little wacky tournaments like this it's gonna make such an awesome story at the end so hi people <laughs> what's up mcmillan this guy is hilarious <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's it. It's over. Um, still got two more vlogs coming from the Bass Open, so y'all stay tuned for those. We're out.